Hi, welcome to the EaseUs channel. Today's video will answer a popular question, how to install macOS on a Windows PC. We'll walk you through easy methods to bring the Apple experience to your PC. Let's get started. The first method is to create a bootable Hackintosh USB drive, which allows you to install macOS on a PC. It is great for users with compatible hardware and some technical expertise. Let's go step by step. First, you need a Mac computer to download macOS from the Mac App Store. Connect a USB drive with at least 16 gigabytes of storage. Open the Mac App Store and download the latest macOS version. Next, you'll need a tool called UniBeast to create a bootable USB. Download and install UniBeast. Open Disk Utility and format your USB drive. Select macOS Extended as the format and erase the drive. Launch UniBeast, follow the prompts, and choose the macOS version you just downloaded. Select the appropriate boot mode, UEFI for modern hardware or legacy for older hardware. Once the process is complete, you'll have a bootable macOS USB drive. Restart your PC and boot from the USB drive. After booting from the USB, follow the macOS installation instructions. This method is a bit complex, but offers flexibility for those who want full control over their macOS experience on a non-Apple device. The second method is to install macOS using a virtual machine. This is simpler than Hackintosh, and you don't need to modify your hardware. Here's how to do it using free virtualization tool, VirtualBox. Download and install VirtualBox from the official website. Open VirtualBox and click New to create a new virtual machine. Name the virtual machine macOS and select macOS as the operating system. Allocate at least four gigabytes of RAM to the virtual machine for smooth performance. Next, create a virtual hard disk. Choose VHD, virtual hard disk, as the disk type and set it to dynamically allocated. Download the macOS installer file. You'll need this to install macOS on VirtualBox. Attach this file to the virtual machine as a bootable disk. One, start the virtual machine and follow the macOS installation steps just as you would on an actual Mac. This method is ideal if you want to run macOS without making any changes to your physical hardware. It's a safer and easier option compared to creating a Hackintosh. It's always better to be safe when performing major system changes like installing macOS or doing some operations to delete data and format the disk on the PC. EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard also provides powerful recovery features in case anything goes wrong. It allows you to easily manage or use your system, disk, or any device without worrying about data loss. Download and install EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard from the official website. Open the software and select the target disk or device where you lost files. Click the scan button to find files you need. Then, preview and recover your data to a safe place, not the device where you lost your data before. So, there you have it, two ways to install macOS on your Windows PC. Create a Hackintosh with a bootable USB run macOS in a virtual machine. Each method can cause your data to loss, so make sure to create a backup of data using smart tool like EaseUs Data Recovery Wizard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Let us know in the comments which method worked for you. See you in the next video.